Really great work that San Cobb is doing there for the Penguins. Thank you guys so very much. Now, right after the break, we are sitting down with Ronelle. She is a toy poodle breeder, breeder but um, we've actually had two of these puppies, but we seem to have lost one somewhere in the studio. I don't know. Let's, Ronelle, does anyone help me call? What's her name? Gracie. 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 Oh, there she is. Yeah. Come on, Gracie. <laughs> Good girl. There she goes. <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll be back right after the break, finding out more about these fluffy little creatures. Nature's best bobtail. Welkom terug jy is ingeskakel hier by Expresso op SABC3. Nou, soos jy sal weet, ons is allemaal een klomp honde liefhebbers hier by Expresso en ons het al soveel verskillende rasse wat vir ons kom keir het. En vir oogend keir ons saam met Ronel wat a toy poodle breeder is. And this is just the cutest dogs I've seen in my life. Look at them. Ronel, thank you so much for joining us. Very It's nice to have you. Thanks. So, so toy poodles, this is, this is very interesting. I mean, how long have you been in the, in the breeding industry in, in terms of toy poodles? I've had um, toy poodles for very long, but I haven't, I started breeding the reds only since 2008. Yeah. So, so the reds, you're talking about the actual color? Yes, yeah. So, it, so, so let's talk about the different colors that you get in toy poodles. Now you get them in all solid, all varieties of solid colors. And, but the red is very new in South Africa at this stage. Yeah, this is very unusual. It's the first time I've seen like a reddish brown poodle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, talk to me, who, who do we have here? That one is Gracie. Her registered name is Sherry Lou. Gossip yeah. Girl Rules, and this one is Champion Sherry Lou Phoenix Fire. Sure. Yeah, and they are both homebred puppies. Homebred puppies. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So, so talk to me a bit about the breed. Um, where did they originate from, do you know? They originally originated from Germany, and it's called the Puddle or Puddle. It, it actually means like Puddle P puddle Dog or Splashing in Water. They really? many times incorrectly called French Poodle, yeah. but that is just because of popularity in France and it's also France's national dog. Yeah. So, so what makes them such a unique little doggy? What are some of their traits? They are extremely intelligent by nature and they do have a remarkable ability to learn. That's it. Very clever dogs. Yes. All right. Yeah. Are they able to do any tricks as of yet? Or still, um, busy, still busy learning? No, I actually don't, I don't do like agility stuff like that. I, I do yeah. breed. Yeah. chose with them. But I do know they are brilliant when it comes to agility. Yes, no, they, they, they can do like, they even do like um, tracking and yeah. she's been so naughty. You can see, they are good with agility. They can literally climb up yeah, anywhere. She's... <laughs> oh, look how cute they, is that. They, they do like, they even do like um, herding too. Really? And they, they, they've, um, yeah. They got top honors in confirmation shows too. That's fantastic. What about their personalities? What are they like? They are very outgoing. <laughs> <laughs> very, very and at ease they, in any new circumstance, as you can yes, see. Yes, they, they love to be the center of attraction and they need to be like in a family. You know, they don't, yeah. don't, you know, and they love to please their owners. Yeah. And because they don't shed, they are ideal pets for people with mild, allerg mild allergies. Mm. And are they good with kids, especially? Yes, no, especially, well, if they grow up with, with, it's like any dog, when you grow up with them, you know, they're fine. This one is like, she barks at small kids. So the other day we were showing and she, the judge was like very young and she thought it was a child and she was barking at the judge all the time. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's just adorable. Now, in terms of living situations, okay, they are small, but do they need space? Are they perfect for kind of apartment living? Yes, they're perfect for apartment living. You, you'll have to exercise them because they go, get bored very easily and they yeah. can easily get some thing, some yeah. up and getting into mischief. Yeah, oh, that's fine. they're not exercised. Yeah, and in terms of people wanting to, 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 to find you or find toy poodles, what's the best way to go about that? Um, they can just Google. I'm a, I've, I've got a website. It's called Sherry Lou Toy Poodles. Yeah. So they can just Google me or just give me a buzz. That's <laughs> it. And then you can have your, oh, man. Oh, man. But of course, yeah, we'll, we'll nickname this one Beyonce. I got that little <laughs> do right there. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much, Ronelle. I love these poodles. But of course, if you want to find out more about these toy poodles and find registered breeders, just log on to the KUSA website, which is kusa.co.za. Ronelle, thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to play with them. Let's, let's go over to the Express right now. 